Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well, welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like and subscribe button to give a shout out to our team. Now, let's get right into the video. First news is coming from Ukraine. The security service of Ukraine announced to have arrested a hacker who provided technical support to Russian troops during the invasion, the man provided mobile communication services inside the Ukrainian territory. The man has broadcasted text messages to Ukrainian officials asking them to lay down the weapons and join Russia. SBU arrested a hacker who provided the invaders with a cellular connection in Ukraine, reads the SBU announcement. With the help of this collaborator, the enemy. Next news is related to Godaddy. Internet security analysts have spotted a spike in backdoor infections on WordPress websites hosted on GoDaddy's managed WordPress service, all featuring an identical backdoor payload. The case affects internet service resellers such as Media Temple, Sohost, 123 Reg, Domain Factory, Heart Internet, and Host Europe Managed WordPress. The discovery comes from WordFence, whose team first observed the malicious activity on March 11, 2022, with 298 websites infected by the backdoor within 24 hours, 281 of which were hosted on GoDaddy. Next news is related to Microsoft. Windows admins were hit today by a wave of Microsoft Defender for endpoint false positives where Office updates were tagged as malicious and alerts pointing to ransomware behavior detected on their systems. According to Windows System Admins reports, this started happening several hours ago and, in some cases, it led to a downpour of ransomware alerts. Following the surge of reports, Microsoft confirmed the Office updates were mistakenly marked as ransomware activity due to false positives. Last news is also related to Microsoft. Microsoft released a scanner that detects Mikrotik routers hacked by the TrickBot gang to act as proxies for command and control servers. In a new report by Microsoft, researchers explain how the TrickBot gang targeted vulnerable Mikrotik routers using various methods to incorporate them as proxies for C2 communications. So, that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. Subscribe our YouTube channel, we're bringing hacking news on a daily basis. So, at last, Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.